All right, Shalom family, Most High Christ Bless, Captain Galilee, IYC Jackson, Mississippi, and welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. And today, I have reading for me. Officer Zerai. All praise to the Most High. And we're going to go over a very important topic, in my opinion. It's about a scripture. Romans chapter 2, verse 16. What does it mean according to Paul's gospel? Because I saw a video. I saw a video of a brother basically trying to discredit the Apostle Paul on TikTok basically saying that Paul was teaching and doing his own thing and that he was false. Let's deal with this guy, Paul. I, I, let, let's, and for those who didn't hear last week, let's kind of understand right off the bat, let's lay the foundation that Paul made the statement, according to the Bible, that everything he taught, he made it up. Right off the bat, let's establish that. So let's turn to Romans 2.16. If you guys don't have Bibles, just keep notes if you don't mind. Romans 2.16. You have it? Say, I should. What does it say? All right, so we're going to deal with that real quick. So let's read Romans chapter 2, and let's read verse 16. The book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 16. In the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ, according to my gospel. You see that? So somebody said, hey, listen, Paul is making up his own thing. He is saying, according unto his gospel. Hmm. Wait a minute. Read chapter 1, verse 1. So if Paul said, according to his gospel, then people are teaching nowadays that Paul was doing his own thing. Watch this. Romans 1 and 1. The book of Romans, chapter 1. In verse 1, Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God. Separated unto what? The gospel of God. The gospel is the gospel of God. The good news, because gospel translates to good news. The good news is uh, from the most high God, from his scriptures that came before Paul. So when Paul said, according to my gospel, meaning my good news, what was delivered unto me by the most high, what I see in the scriptures regarding what Christ has revealed unto me, that's what he meant according to my gospel. Watch this. Read the next verse. Verse 2. Which he had promised afore by his prophets in the holy scriptures. See that? <laughs> Which he had promised before by the prophets in his holy scriptures. Paul wasn't teaching anything different than what was being taught in the Holy Scriptures by the prophets. That's why throughout the book of Romans, Paul always says, as it is written, as it is written in Isaiah, as it is written here. Watch, I'll show you. Go to Romans chapter 10. I want you to read verse 15 and 16 for me. Watch what the apostle Paul says here. Romans chapter 10 and verse 15. Go ahead. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, mm -hmm. how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. The, how beautiful. Wait a minute. This is, this is some beautiful stuff. And how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that what? Preach the gospel of peace. Wait a minute. Preach the gospel of peace? Gospels in the Old Testament? Because he said as it is written. Written where? In the Old Testament. Watch this. Keep reading. And bring glad tidings of good things. Glad tidings of good things. Go ahead. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. Go ahead. For Esaias saith, Lord, who have believed our report? He said they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Esaias, meaning Isaiah. So I get Isaiah was bringing forth the gospel. But nobody ever says Isaiah was false for bringing forth the gospel. But you want to say the apostle Paul is. No, you don't understand Paul. So now you are uh, uh, conflating your argument by saying, well, he must have been teaching something different because I don't understand him. Watch this. Go to Isaiah 52, verse 7. He said, as it is written. Let's see where this was written. That the beautiful, the, how beautiful are the feet of them which preach the gospel of peace. Let's see. Isaiah chapter 52, verse 7. The book of Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 7. Come on. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings. That publisheth peace, mm. that bringeth good tidings of good, that publishes salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. So wait a minute. Isaiah was also teaching the gospel. Isaiah was teaching the good news unto Israel, saying unto Zion, thy God reigneth. That's good news, brothers and sisters. And that was in the book of Isaiah. 
Now watch this. Go from there. Go to Acts chapter 13, verse 13. So Paul wasn't doing his own thing. Paul was led by the Holy Spirit. Paul was taught by Christ himself. So if you say Paul is wrong, then you got to say Christ is wrong. Watch this. Go to Acts 13, 13. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 13. Come on. Now, when Paul and his company loosed from Paphos, they came to Perga in Pamphylia. Mm -hmm. And John, departing from them, returned to Jerusalem. Go ahead. But when they departed from Perga, they came to Antioch in Pisidia. Read. And went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. So this is Paul and his company. Went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Go ahead. And sat down. Uh Uh-huh. And after the reading of the law and the prophets, the rulers of the synagogue sent unto them, saying, Ye men and brethren. Ye men and brethren. So not just Paul, the men that was with him. He said, ye men and brethren. Go ahead. If ye have any word of exhortation for Uh, the people, uh say on. Go ahead. Then Paul stood up and beckoning with his hand said, men of Israel and ye that fear God, give audience. So watch this. So Paul and the company that's with him are now teaching our brothers and our sisters in Pisidia, Antioch of Pis- in Pisidia. He's teaching them in the synagogue on the Sabbath day. Watch what he says. Skip down to verse 32. Verse 32. Come on. And we declare unto you glad tidings. He said, and we declare unto you. So it wasn't just Paul teaching the gospel. It was the men that was with him. It said, we declare unto you what? Glad tidings. Glad tidings. Go ahead. How that the promise which was made unto the fathers. God hath fulfilled the same unto us, their children, uh-huh. and that he hath raised up Jesus again, as it is also written in the second psalm, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. So wait a minute now, hold up. So King David was teaching the gospel too? But nobody ever says, oh, well, David was false because he was teaching his own gospel. They all spoke the same thing, brothers and sisters. The same spirit that was in Paul was the same spirit that was in David. There was the same spirit that was in Moses, which is the same spirit that was in the prophets and the apostles that came before him. The same spirit that was in Peter. Wait, does Peter confirm Paul? Yeah, go to 2 Peter chapter 3. And let's read verse 15. Does Peter confirm Paul? Because if you're saying Paul was teaching his own thing, and then Peter confirms him who was left in charge of the church, now we got a dilemma. Either we should re- we should uh, believe the holy apostle, the head apostle, Peter, or we should believe you? I don't think we should believe the Negro. Not the Negro today. I think I want to believe Peter. But let's see what he says. Go ahead. The book of 2 Peter, chapter 3, in verse 15. Go ahead. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Uh huh. Even as our beloved brother Paul, mm-hmm. also according to the wisdom given unto him. He said, even as our beloved brother Paul. This is Peter speaking. As, as also... I, uh, we read it again. So I don't want to butcher it. Go Even ahead. as our beloved brother Paul, go ahead. Also, according to the wisdom given unto him, read. have written unto you. Have written unto you. Go ahead. As also in his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. Go ahead. Which they that are unlearned and unstable rest. See that? Go ahead. As they do also the other scriptures. Because they didn't realize that Isaiah taught the gospel. They didn't realize that. King David taught the gospel. Go ahead. Unto their own destruction. Unto their own destruction. Go ahead. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before. Since seeing you know these things before. Go ahead. Beware, lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, mm. fall from your own steadfastness. Fall from the understanding that we know that the apostle Paul was not doing his own thing. That he was led by the Son of God. How do we know he was led by the Son of God? The other apostles affirmed him. Watch this. Go to the book of Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9. Watch this. Acts chapter 9, and I want you to read um, verse 20. Start at 19. Yes, sir. Acts chapter 9, verse 19. Come on. And when he had received meat, he was strengthened. Talk about Paul. Go ahead. Then was Saul certain days with the disciples which were at Damascus. So he was Saul at this time. He wasn't known as Paul. Go ahead. And straightway he preached Christ in the synagogues. Read. That he is the son of God. So wait a minute. This is written by Luke. This ain't Paul. This is written by Luke. Paul was not teaching his own thing. It said he stood up in the synagogue and taught Jesus Christ that he was the son of God. He was in, this was in Damascus. Remember, he was originally sent to Damascus to persecute the followers of Christ. But Christ blinded him on the way to Damascus. He was blind for several days. And then I believe the brother's name was Ananias laid hands on him. He ate and received his sight. Then he went and taught the gospel of Christ. 
Paul didn't teach his own thing. Keep reading. Watch this. But all that heard him were amazed and said, is not this he that destroyed them which called on this name in Jerusalem uh -huh. and came hither for that intent mm -hmm. that he might bring them bound unto the chief priests? But Saul increased the more in strength Read. and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus. He confounded them regarding Christ. Watch this. Proving that this is very Christ. He wasn't teaching his own thing. Go ahead. And after that, many days were fulfilled. The Jews took counsel to kill him. And they wanted to kill him afterwards. Go ahead. Watch this. But their laying await was known of Saul. Mm -hmm. And they watched the gates day and night to kill him. Read. Then the disciples took him by night and let him down by the wall in a basket. So why would they do that for somebody teaching their own thing? Those disciples were disciples of Christ. Go ahead. Watch this. And when Saul was come to Jerusalem, he essayed to join himself to the disciples. Uh -huh. But they were all afraid of him. They were afraid of him. And believed not that he was a disciple. But watch this. Go ahead. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared unto them how he had seen the Lord in the way and that he had spoken to him and how he had preached boldly at Damascus in the name of Jesus. So wait a minute. Barnabas, who was well respected, and who was in Christ before Paul said, no, brothers, I'm telling you, I watched the brother boldly stand up in Damascus and preach the word of God and teach that Christ was the very Christ, that he is the son of God. This brother is approved. I put my name by him. Barnabas put his name on the line for the apostle Paul. So now Paul is writing that he's doing his own thing. Absolutely not. Let me show you what Paul meant when he said, according to my gospel. Give me two scriptures and I'm going to close it out. Go to the book of Romans. I mean, Acts, excuse me. Acts chapter 13, verse 46. This is the book of Acts chapter 13 and verse 46. Go ahead. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, it was necessary that the word of God should first have been spoken to you. You Jews, go ahead. But seeing you put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life. Go ahead. Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Lo, we turn to the Gentiles. Go ahead. For so hath the Lord commanded us, saying, I have set thee to be a light of the Gentiles. Go ahead. That thou shouldest be for salvation unto the ends of the earth. You hear this? Paul was who Christ was speaking about. Paul was who Isaiah was prophesying about. And not him only. But he was one of the forerunners of this. Watch this. Go to the book of Galatians chapter 2. Galatians chapter 2. Watch this. Galatians chapter 2, and I want you to read verse 7. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 7. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. The gospel of the uncircumcision is going into the northern kingdom of Israel. They grew up uncircumcised, and also those Jews that were scattered, that were, grew up uncircumcised. Paul said, the gospel, read it again. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me. That's Paul's gospel, the gospel of the uncircumcision that was committed unto him. That's why he said, lo, it was supposed to come to you Jews first, but guess what? Now we turn to the Gentiles since you consider yourselves unworthy of eternal life. For God said in Isaiah, I'm going to give thee for a light to the Gentiles. Paul wasn't teaching his own thing. When he says my gospel, he means his office that was given to him for the gospel being preached unto the uncircumcised. That what? They would not have to go back into the law of animal sacrifice. That they would not have to go and uh, sacrifice animals at the temple and do meat offerings and drink offerings on the Sabbath day and on the new moons. That they would believe on Christ could receive the Holy Spirit. That's what he's going into. That's Paul's gospel, brothers and sisters. Don't let no Christian or no Yahya or any of these Old Testament Israelites or these brothers and sisters that hate the Apostle Paul because they don't understand him, do not let them fool, fool you and pull you away from the gospel. Christ was dealing with Paul. Read that again. But contrary wise, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, go ahead. as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter. You hear that? As the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, meaning the southern kingdom. Watch this. But he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision. Go ahead. The same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. The same was mighty in Paul toward the northern kingdom of Israel. That's Paul's gospel. Last scripture, Romans chapter 11. And I think it's verse 13. I magnify mine off. I magnify mine office. Read that for me. Romans chapter 11, verse 13. For I speak to you Gentiles, and as much as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify mine office. That's a beautiful thing right there. 
So when Paul says my gospel, he's talking about the lot that was given to him to teach the word of God and the understanding of Christ to the northern kingdom who was known as Gentiles. Paul was in one accord with the rest of the apostles, with Jesus Christ and all the prophets that came before him. All right. So I hope y'all got something from that quick lesson. That's another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captains. I'm Captain Get a Lights. Am I right? Officers are right. And Romans 2, 16, what is Paul's gospel? Just got it right there. Shalom. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong.